Let's take a tour of the new Netris dashboard. Starting at the top, you'll see the Metrotex Association of Realtors logo if you're a Metrotex MLS member. Then you'll see a greeting with your name. If you've added in your zip code, then you'll see the current weather conditions. If we scroll down just a little bit, we'll see your Netris applications and services. These are all the same applications and services that you've had on the previous dashboard. We just have a new modern updated look here. Click on the show more button if you want to see additional tiles. To the right of that, we can see membership dues. This is going to show if you have any outstanding balances with the board and you can click on those and it will take you directly into our account access section where you can view and pay those invoices right away. Back on the dashboard, if we scroll down just a little bit, we'll get to additional Netris products and partners with additional tiles here that you can click on. If we scroll down a bit further, we get to some newer sections. Under listing notifications, this is going to show if you have any active listing data checker violations. If you have any in here, you'll see a number and you can click on those to take you straight into data checker and view what is going on with your listing. There's also a section at the bottom for violation history, and this will show any previous listing violations that you've had as well. In the middle, there is a news and updates section, which currently is a little bit empty, but this is where we will post any important news and updates that you need to know about. To the right of that, we can see personal links, and this is a section where you can link all of your favorite websites and then click straight over to them. So you'll see that I've linked the MetroTex website, our homepage, but I also added a link here to our account access section. I've added a link to our courses and events if I want to get signed up for any classes. And then I've added a couple of links to other websites, the Trek website, the Texas Realtors website, and the NAR website as well. If I scroll back up to the top, up here there is a little envelope with messages and if I click here, you'll see it looks just like an email inbox. And this is where we can send you important messages that you might need to know about. The little bell here is for notifications. This is just another way for us to get in touch with you and notify you about any important maintenance or upcoming changes. Over from that, here we've got my face, or you might have a little profile there. And if you click on that, you can view your profile. Under my profile, I can change my photo. So if I want to add a picture of myself here, this is also where I can add my zip code. So if I want to see my current location and my current weather, and then at the bottom, there are a few user preferences that I can change. The first one is dark mode. So if I switch that on, it will change that Netris dashboard to a dark mode. We also have an option to hide the MetroTax banner at the top hide that greeting, or hide the weather that we've seen before. But I kind of like to have all those on, so I'll keep them on. Over here, we can see my profile picture. I can see my email address, and I also have an option to change my password if I need to. To get back to that home page, we'll click on Home up at the top, and that'll take us right back to our Netris dashboard. Remember, you can click on any of these icons here, and they'll take you straight into these different systems, services, and applications. Alrighty, that concludes our tour of the Netris dashboard.